What is up everyone? Welcome to another Naughty Egg Draws <laughs> Where I take my love of art and my love of tech and put it into one video in today's video I'm gonna be taking this old PlayStation 1 and I say old I mean this is what I got excited about on Christmas over 20 years ago Any of you youngins out there 20 years ago? This is what I was excited about. It's making me feel old. Thanks a lot. I, mean, I guess I'm the one who brought it up, but either way, thanks a lot. So what I plan to put on this PS1 is the one and only Nintendo mascot destroyer. Hey, plumber boy, mustache man, your worst nightmare has arrived. I think Crash Bandicoot on this thing is gonna look absolutely awesome, but I know this old PlayStation actually has some issues running, so I'm gonna have to take this thing apart anyways. So I'm gonna see if there's any like corrosion or anything on the board, a lot of times there is. People spill things on these old PlayStations. Um, but yeah, once I take this thing apart, I'll be able to see why it's not running. Well, at least hopefully. But yeah, let's let's get to tearing this thing down. Let's we need to do that right now. So when I was opening this system up, it actually looked pretty clean for the most part. It did have some spots of corrosion and a lot of dust. You can't really see all the dust that's on here through the camera, but there, there was quite a bit. I actually had a dust bunny fly out of the disk drive. Okay, so it is all taken apart now. We are down to the bare naked shell at this point. Uh, there was a little bit of corrosion that was on the board and on the shields, uh, but it really wasn't that bad. So hopefully when I clean all that stuff up, it works again. Uh, but now basically what I need to do is I need to go soak all this stuff in some uh, degreasing soap so that when I put the base coat on here, none of it, you don't get any of the weird streaks and things like that. So let's get to soaking these in some water. All right, so everything is all clean. And as you saw, I drew Aku Aku here on the disc tray. And it's not because I'm gonna be painting on here. It's actually gonna be because I'm cutting this section out. Anywhere in here is gonna be cut out and I'm doing it for two reasons. First reason is you're gonna be able to see the disc spin in here and that's just cool. And for the second reason, I'm gonna put some LEDs on the backside of the disc tray. So when everything is on, this is gonna glow. Ooh, shiny. Now I'm gonna use a drill and a Dremel to cut all this stuff up. So I'm gonna make sure I go put on my safety glasses so I don't get a piece of plastic in my eye. That, that would suck. I really don't want a piece of plastic in my eye. <laughs> So to make this cutout design, I actually took an image of Aku Aku and I just dropped it down to a black and white silhouette on the computer. And then I just really had to plan out where I wanted to make the cuts so I wouldn't have any massive chunks just falling out where it didn't have any support. So I started with drilling some basic holes out for the basic area of it and then actually used my drill in the same way a CNC would kind of work. I just got the drill up to full speed and then just put some sideways pressure on the plastic until it started to glide into the pilot holes that I already drilled. And then I just went in and cleaned it all up with a file. Alright, so it's the next day. I had to let this thing cure overnight and the cutout looks absolutely awesome i am loving the way that this thing looks and i mean i still have a lot of work to do though i gotta go over to the base of this and still draw on cortex crash and the background with pencil before i can even go in and paint this thing so we still have a lot of work to do so let's get back into this Now, growing up, the Crash Bandicoot games were probably among one of my favorite games. Those games were up there with games like Zelda Ocarina of Time, Mario 64, Sonic, things like that. But I just always loved Crash so much, probably for the same reason a lot of people like Sonic. 
He has a little bit of a sass to it when he does his dance and stuff like that, and I just love the attitude that he had. And for a mid to late 90s video game villain, Neo Cortex has to be one of my favorites. I guess I just love the whole crazy scientist thing. I still love that type of villain even to this day, even though it's really been played out at this point. And to be honest, I really don't care. I love it. But let me know down in the comments below what classic villain from older video games you've always loved. And if it's Neo Cortex, you're actually obligated to give this video a thumbs up. Just saying, I don't make the rules around here. You just gotta. Alright everyone, so it's all drawn in, outlined and everything. Now we just need to add the color to this and really make the characters pop. And then obviously we need to add the LEDs, reassemble everything, and everything's finished. So we need to kick it into turbo time and we need to get going. So when it came to painting the PlayStation, I actually used an acrylic spray paint so that the paints that I used would stick a little better. I used a mixture of traditional acrylics and a set of acrylic pens that I had, which actually are the same acrylic pens that I used in my Game Boy Advance build. And if you haven't seen that video, make sure you check that video out. I mean, after you watch this video, of course, but make sure you check that video out as well. Now let me know down below as well if you are planning on getting the new Crash Bandicoot 4 game. I know it is a game that is going to be on my shelf very soon. Hence why I got the inspiration to make this piece. And to be honest, I am glad I went with Crash for this build because just stylistically, it worked so well. And I think if I was to make another build on a PS1, I think I would actually have to make Spyro. I mean, you can't really go wrong with that little purple PlayStation Classic either. I mean, he's a little dragon. You can't go wrong. But this build was an absolute blast to make. And I, I just want to know what you guys actually think about this build down below. So after you finish watching this video, make sure you leave a comment and let me know what you think about this build. And maybe what I could improve on if I do another PlayStation like this. Alright everyone, it's done, it's finished, and it is absolutely beautiful. This is now my favorite system that I own, for now. Look at all these systems, just too many, 
too many. Now, as you can see, I have a lot of systems back there, and that's not even all the systems I own. That's just all the stuff I can fit on that table. So if you're liking these videos, make sure you let me know down below, and I will do one of those systems. I'm probably not going to do all of them, or maybe I will. But you're going to have to let me know which ones you like, which ones you want me to do, and I will do those in the future. Now, to be honest, I'm absolutely loving these videos where I'm building these systems and bringing them into new life. If you missed the video where I did this old Game Boy Advance, putting LCD screen in here and all that kind of stuff, make sure you watch that video. It's one of my favorite videos I have ever made. I'm going to have a link for that down below. Now, if you want to check out my Patreon where you can get some behind-the-scenes stuff before I even release these videos, like sketches like this where I was coming up with the idea to do this PlayStation, you'll get all of that beforehand before I even make these videos. So if that sounds like something you would like to see, make sure you check out my Patreon. That is also going to be in the link down below. But like I've said a thousand times already, if you saw a system back there that you want to see me do, make sure you leave that in the comments below. But like always, keep drawing and until next time, bye. <laughs>